Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. According to Orlok Monitor's report, there has been an expansion of Bulgarian military assistance to Ukraine beyond the initial delivery of BTR-60 petabytes armored personnel carriers. Bulgaria has reportedly sent undisclosed numbers of BRDM-2 reconnaissance vehicles and two S-1 Vodica self-propelled howitzers, as evidenced by social media posts showing these military assets being loaded onto railway platforms for transportation. The exact quantities of the two S-1 Vodica 122mm self-propelled howitzers and BRDM-2 armored reconnaissance vehicles earmarked for transfer have not been made public. These military assets are said to be sourced from Bulgaria's reserve stocks, with varying conditions observed among them. While some BRDM-2 vehicles display signs of aging, several Gvodikas seem to have undergone refurbishment, suggesting preparatory measures before deployment. The involvement of Bulgaria's local industry in the refurbishment process has been suggested but remains unconfirmed. An agreement between Bulgaria and Ukraine exists for the repair of the BRDM-2 vehicles upon their arrival, implying their potential use for military operations and as a source of spare parts for other units. There is speculation about Ukraine modifying these vehicles using parts from various sources, including salvaged components from different military assets, as seen in the case of the modified BRDM-2 Vov Kalaka used by the Ukrainian Volan Brigade. Reports suggest that Bulgaria's military reserves include up to 200 units of BRDM-2 and over 400 units of 2S1 Gvadika, with additional units still in active service. Some of these Gvadikas were previously sold to the Czech Republic and later transferred to Ukraine, indicating ongoing Bulgarian contributions. The process of transferring this equipment to Ukraine faced delays due to issues with a Romanian transport company, sparking political debates within Bulgaria. Major parliamentary groups criticized Defense Minister Todor Tagrev for alleged inefficiencies in executing government and parliamentary decisions. Despite these controversies, the transfer of military equipment to Ukraine has now commenced. Discussions have arisen in Bulgaria regarding the condition of the transferred equipment. Some assets, sourced from the Bulgarian Ministry of Internal Affairs, have been unused for extended periods, prompting debates about the strategic value and ethical considerations of sending such equipment to a conflict zone, as well as concerns about Bulgaria's defense capabilities following these transfers. The Bulgarian Ministry of Defense has not publicly disclosed details regarding the shipment of this equipment to Ukraine, leading to speculation and questions, particularly since the movement of military hardware, typically from NATO allies, is commonplace in Bulgaria. Access to the loading site in Novi Isker was restricted, with heightened security measures observed. This recent support follows Bulgaria's previous, undisclosed contributions to Ukraine, including the supply in December 2023 of malfunctioning anti-aircraft missile systems and various types of missiles, potentially including the 9K32 Strela and 9K33 OSA systems, among others. This aligns with a secretive vote conducted on September 27, 2023 when Bulgaria decided to supply Ukraine with non-operational S-300 missiles and surplus 5.45mm cartridges, underscoring Bulgaria's ongoing, albeit complex, support for Ukraine amid ongoing conflict situations. That's all for now. See you later.